as you guys know, uh, we were here last week or last couple days. I don't know. I lose track of time, man. It's just cars and work and cars and work and Fox bodies. It's cars. Anyways, um, the last time you guys saw us, uh, we were trying to put up our sway bars, which we're going to get to right away. But we went ahead and we bought our cooler line for our power steering. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because the next video that we're going to do is going to be based off our hydro booster to our rack and pinion to our power steering line. So we needed the cooler line. And I was going to make this real big, beautiful, fancy aluminum line. And then I got real lazy. So I'm just going to use this one. I don't care. Is what it is. Uh, so I just think it looks cooler with the black and everything. But anyways, so just just to give you a quick uh, layout of what's going to be here is a little oval hole right there. Bam, all the way through. Clips up here. We got a speed nut with a screw down here. And we got our line sticking out right here. Now the way it's going to be set up on our hydro booster, the bar line here. I think I mentioned it before, this line right here will be going to our power steering line. This line right here will be heading to our rack and pinion. Now these two lines right here are going to be pressure lines. Now I was kindly informed by one of the fellow followers, um, you know, that these hydro boosters could do about 1500 uh, PSI. So we're going to be switching up these fittings and uh, when we make that video we'll explain why. Now this far off line right here is the return line. So. Follow with me guys. From this return line, we're gonna go down and we're gonna connect to a T. Alright. Now the bottom of this T will be going to the top fitting of our rack and pinion. This side right here will be going to the return line of our hydro booster. And this side right here will be attaching to our cooler line. From our cooler line, we will jump over all the way over where we will have our power steering reservoir set up over there, which we will show you a little bit later. And then the second opening from the power, from the power steering reservoir will be going to our power steering pump. So. We just went ahead and got this to make it look a little neater. Uh, I think I like the contrast. I like the heaviness of the metal here. I had this really cool aluminum line. I thought I was going to make it look, but like I said, too much work, not enough days, and I'm losing sunlight every day. So, and you know what? So this we got from LMR. It was a kit. It was $49.99, and it comes with this awesome kit. It's got the bolts. It's got the screws. It's got the speed nut, and then it's got this extra rubber you know, return line for it. So that's a whole kit. We're not using this line. As you guys noticed, we bought a whole bunch of other lines that look like this. So, for the sake of helping you guys figure this out, we got all these beautiful fittings. We spent a lot of money, because we're dumb, and nobody out there tells us how to do it. So we're figuring it out by ourselves. So, I hope you guys enjoy this next video coming up with these power steering lines, man, because we'll have also more information to put on there for every fitting that we picked up. Again, we're going to give a couple shout-outs to a couple people that helped us out, send us a couple pictures. And I hope that we can uh, get it all fit up here and get it done. We just got one more fitting to come in, guys. So for right now, we're going to install this little cooler line, and then we're going to move on to our sway bars, because we have to go ahead and get the extensions, and then I'll explain that in a few. So, like I said, a lot of people say, like, why are you guys doing this? Why are you guys doing the, the whole cool thing? You know what? One thing we, we needed, the other thing, it looks cool. Whatever. It's part of the car, man. It's part of the car. For most of the people that don't understand what the part of the car is, you know, we're restoring this car to its full, almost back to its full originality. We're doing it one screw at a time, one fender at a time, and everything else that follows with it. So that's why we're taking our time. Put these down, and our cooler line is done. We'll move up. I can pull that one. This is 
Uh, I think it looks cool. Many times as you play this video is the only time I'm gonna say this. Alright? So, as you guys saw, we got our sway bar kit, which is our previous sway bar kit that we got here. We got it with a minor extension, as you guys can see, this is not the original stuff. We just got it with a little bit more of a drop. But this wasn't set up for a coyote drop. Now, when we went ahead and installed this, we noticed that both sides, one was hitting the alternator and one was hitting the uh, AC compressor. Compressor. So, we had to swap this and, of course, we, we marred up and damaged our oil filter, of course, because that was the first thing it started to hit. So, we had to go ahead and get a new oil filter for that, too. But... So when we got this kit, it was about seventy-four ninety-nine, um, and as you can see, is what it is right here. And it's just a little bit more of an extension that's coming for your sway bars down to your car. I would say it's probably for a Terminator swap. I don't know. So since this didn't work for us, our sway bar after we removed our oil filter was still smacking our alternator and then our AC compressor. We had to go back online, and thank you to Adamar, of course. They have a coyote swap set and I'm on the bag right now. And as you guys can see, it has a much deeper drop. And that's definitely what we're gonna need because initially from here we just probably need an extra inch to give us enough room to fit everything that we needed to be put back in there for the alternator for the AC compressor to clear completely and along with the oil filter. But as you guys could tell, this definitely has a little bit more than an inch drop and it's definitely, definitely gonna clear. So, the difference in these two kits, as you guys could tell, like this guy's got the bolt that we could remove right here and then we got the heavy gauge steel right on top with the threaded for the bolts to go through. Come on, bolt. See what I mean? Heavy gauge steel. Right, cool. Um, this newer kit, as you guys can see, the bolts are on a bracket already, so it'll be going like this. So, why don't I shut up and show you how it's got to get done? You know what? Like I was just, I was just brought up a challenge. I said, so it's guaranteed that these uh, sway bar extensions are gonna fit, so we could put on the oil filter and not worry about it. So you know what I said? Hell yeah! LMR wouldn't sell me something that says it's not guaranteed, or would they? And how much is that left? Right there? So as you guys can see, we got a brand new oil filter here from Ford Racing. This is eleven ninety nine. It's clean. It's pretty. It's going back on. <laughs> Treats it like a Land Cruiser. God damn it. All right, there we go. I'm gonna leave that out there. On the bracket after you slide it. Slide it in and you slide the water. So yeah, yeah. As it holds so the bracket. It holds it down. Uh, bracket here. So that adds 50 pounds of horses. We're gonna leave that bracket now. So, they have a little locking. Look, even the four racing sticks facing Oh, okay. So now let's see if, we'd all, if it all really works out. So they have these little locking pins right here. I'll just pull it out. So. Let's see. Let's go this way. Bam. That's in. Wow, well, that thing's tough. Yeah, it goes on it pretty tough. <laughs> Straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. God damn. There we go. You good? Good. Get a few threads in here. 
LMR Kudos video? LMR Kudos, man. He did it. They told us, and it was correct. And well, here we are. We have won. <laughs> so there you go. So, our new uh, LMR Coyote extensions to our sway bar work perfectly. Plenty clearance to our AC because we will have AC. We're not gonna burn up in this thing. Plenty clearance in our oil filter. Yes, yes, I wonder if that'll do it when we take it off. Yeah, alternator. Hold on, let me see. This is the ticket. Because we need to we need to remove this thing. What? Uh oh. Filter? Uh oh. Nice. Oh no, you we're good. <laughs> you okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, they they know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Gotta make sure, right? Gotta make sure, bro. We gotta we you know we gotta pull That's the first thing I said. We're not pulling it's, punches here. It's gonna right? go in, but is it gonna come on? We're not being sponsored or anything. No, I'm just playing. So yeah, here. we have great clearance to our oil filter, we have great clearance to our alternator, and guess what? We have a sway bar in the front. Hell yeah! Without cutting. Well, so we didn't have to cut off our uh, right our uh, sway bar brackets thing. up here. Um, so definitely, I will suggest you guys, you know, for everybody out there that's doing it without a sway bar, go put a sway bar on it. If Steve Celine was able to do it, go go weld your brackets with a sway bar back. Yeah, on. man, weld them back on there. Sway bar and in. put a sway bar. That's how you drive steady. Hey, man. Hey. This is Saul Castaneda from MCSC Green Wheels. That's my brother up there, Miguel Castaneda from MCSC Green Wheels. If you haven't made the connection yet, it's in the name. Anyways, I want to thank everybody on our Instagram. Guys, go on there. Give us a couple likes. Maybe more than a couple. And if you guys know, go to our Facebook page. And you'll probably be able to find yourself a fox body just like this. Well, maybe not like this. Probably something a lot more decrepit. But no matter what. Go ahead and get it. Here, guys, I want to thank everybody on our YouTube channel. Please, guys, if you know anyone that can benefit from this content, go ahead and share it. Send us a like. But more importantly, subscribe. Subscribe. Next videos are going to be coming up. We'll see you guys later. Good night.